Hi everyone, this is Randy, N2CUA. I was just playing around with the analyzer, with the t uh, peak table function, and what you're seeing on the display is actually a lot of the local FM radio broadcast stations. Um, and so what I've done is set up a peak table, which you see at the bottom of the display, and across the uh, trace itself, you'll see all the peaks with different numbers on them that correspond to the numbers in the peak table and their uh, corresponding frequencies and amplitudes. Um, quite a few of them, actually. <laughs> and they're all pretty much, uh, you know, like I said, they're the broadcast stations in town and the next town, actually, like 98.7 and 103.1. And <clears throat> anyway, it's a pretty nice function if you're trying to... Um, if you got a whole bunch of stuff on the screen, a lot of peaks of different sorts, and you want to just kind of capture the, all of those for whatever reasons, you know, be it harmonics or uh, that type of thing, or spurious emissions, which is just a lot of them, or interference, or whatever the case might be. Um, you could set um, a threshold, actually. I um, can show you that if I can find it again. Um, oh, search parameters, I believe. And then right here, peak threshold. When you press that one, you can actually use the uh, encoder knob and adjust the uh, point at which it starts detecting. See, I'm cranking it up so that it takes a stronger signal now to um, make an entry into the peak table. So as I go up, they start to diminish because the signals aren't that strong. Then as I lower it and go to a higher negative dBm number, uh, more of the signals that are on the trace qualify for that table, as it were and uh, they get added you know, accordingly. Now the signals are varying a bit of course so they're kind of jumping in and out of the table. But it's a good way to capture something like that and you can take this, it's a, it's a great analyzer, you can do so much with it. Um, but you can press the um, leaves to trace button and then there's a trace type here and so you can press trace type and then pick what you want to do and one of the options you get is right here it's called freeze so if you see stuff that you got is like a full screen you're like oh that's what I want hit freeze it locks that trace and then you can take and save that to the analyzer or you could put a USB thumb drive in it down in the slot here and um, save that out to the thumb drive another nice feature about this analyzer which is really kind of great I like it is well one it has the uh, pick bridge capability so you can plug a printer directly into it and print straight to the printer. But if you don't have a printer plugged into it and you have a USB um, thumb drive plugged into the port here and you press the print button here it looks at the analyzer and goes, oh well you don't have a printer set up for this so I'm going to take that um, image you wanted to print and send it to the thumb drive automatically. It just knows that and does it for you. Really nice, uh, nice feature there. Kudos to, to Rigel for that. Anyway, this is kind of just a short and sweet fun one, kind of practicing. And I wanted you to just get a flavor of the, uh, the peak table function. Really, really handy function if you're looking at a lot of signals simultaneously. Um, the one I'm working on soon is going to be for um, weak signal measurement. That's kind of tricky. It's a lot more fun. It's a very capable analyzer for doing that, too. Um, the specification for the analyzer um, for its noise floor typically is minus 135 dBm and this one will go down to like actually down to 140 uh, dBm which is really low um, uh, minus 100 and I think it's 135 dBm is equivalent to like 0 0.045 microvolts and you know most ham radio transceivers are only maybe 0.15 microvolts on a good day so this even goes far below that in measuring uh, weak signals but there's some tricks and some things you can do with um, different features and functions that the analyzer has to pull those signals out of the noise where you normally would even be able to tell there's a signal in there and I'll show you that in the video when I do it I'm trying to plan it out a little more carefully with um, you know, an outline and everything, so uh, I can make sure that I get all the information uh, across to uh, to the viewers out there. So anyway, thanks for um, listening and watching, 
and uh, we'll see you um, next time around. Seven threes from N2CUA.